Hey guys, really quick word, right? Um, I just wanted to let somebody know that the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of heaven is waiting on you, right? And this word came from a dream that I had a couple days ago. I actually had this dream a couple days ago. And in this dream is this school, is my old high school, right? And um, it's a dream that I used to have when I was younger where all of us would come into this, um, come into this, old school right and a flood would come and but anyway so in this dream that i had a couple days ago um you know my little sister was in charge of getting people into the school so so um so for some reason i was standing outside and she was like there's still a few more she was like i still need a few more right so i just want somebody to know that the kingdom of heaven is waiting on you you know, God is waiting on you. And, um, and you know, I had the dream a couple of days ago, but for some reason, God brought it back to my heart today and I could not rest. Like he kept telling me, kept talking to me about it while I was trying to sleep. Right. When it comes to y'all, like sometimes God don't even let me rest when there's a soul on the line, when there's somebody, when there's an actual soul on the line, right. You know, God, won't let me rest, right? But I do want you to know that the kingdom of heaven is waiting on you. If this is for you, you will know because God has been trying to draw you in and get your attention and you know, but anyways, like this is just what he want me to let you know is he's waiting on you. Your time is now. He's waiting on you. And today I was like, God, like what, who did my sister represent in this dream? Because this specific, this specific sister is my close sister. Like my mom got six kids. My dad got 10 kids. But like this sister who was in my dream is a sister who I talk to like almost every day. We really, we really, really close. Right. So I was like, God, like who, why was my sister in this dream? Are you calling her to do ministry or, you know, what is it? And God was just like, she represented the Holy Spirit. But like, he was like, you're going to have to be close to the Holy Spirit. And, or God said he's going to be re revealing these type of things to the people who are close to him. Because my sister was like, in a dream, she was talking to me. She was like, I'm waiting on a couple more. Like she was basically saying, there's room for a few more, right? So I just, whoever this is for, whoever... You know who you are. God said the kingdom of heaven is waiting on you. And for his prophets and prayer warriors, he wants you to draw near to him. Draw very near to him because he's going to start revealing things about what's to come. Right? Because I was like, the Holy Spirit has appeared in my dream as you know, an old woman, as different type of things. But I was like, why in this dream is, is this the Holy Spirit is representing my sister? And it's because, like, this is, you're going to have to be real close to God and real close in the spirit in order to, you know, pick up on everything that God is trying to put out to us in this time. He wants us to be very close. But the point that I want to make in this video is the kingdom of heaven is waiting on you. Whoever you are, you know who you are. God said he's going to make it known to you. He's going to draw you to this video. He said he's been knocking at your heart. He said he's waiting on you. You're in that number. He said he, listen, like, like, in um, Noah, the flood could not come to, God didn't let the flood come into Noah's family was shut up in the ark. So if you're in that number, God is waiting on you to get up in here for whatever come, come. No, I'm not saying the flood is coming. I don't know what's coming. That ain't none of my business. God didn't, God, that's not what God is trying to reveal to me. But he is trying to reveal that he's waiting on somebody. And God had me read yesterday the Bible where um, uh, Jesus uh told was telling this parable he was like the kingdom of heaven is like a man who invited some people to his banquet right and they wouldn't come they was like i'm getting married i can't come i gotta go do this all of them having this had an excuse but at the end of the parable when jesus had sent out some people to the highways and the byways right to get get more people the man was like, there is still room. There is still room for some more, right? So whoever you are, I just want you to know that God is waiting on you. God is waiting on you. He's tugging at your heart. Today is your day. I love y'all so much. I'm about to go, you know, go to work, right? But I just hope y'all have a wonderful, wonderful 
evening. I love y'all. I thank y'all for subscribing. I thank y'all for watching. And I thank y'all for y'all encouraging comments. Sometimes I'm not able to respond to every last one. But I want you to know that I do read every last comment. When I put a heart, that means I read it. And I thank God for y'all. Like, that's literally, y'all don't even know it. But that's literally y'all pouring back into me. Like, when I get on here and I say what God is putting on my heart when y'all encourage me in the comments like this that's like refueling me like pouring back into me pouring back into my spirit so i am very grateful i thank god for y'all i love y'all have a wonderful blessed day